So initially, I thought about making this video on the secondary channel because it has nothing to do with video games. But then I thought to myself, you know what? Let me put it on the main channel for really two reasons. The first reason is I don't have anything else I'm talking about today. The secondary reason, though, I feel is a little bit more important because really at the end of the day, this channel is about helping people out. And most of the time it's about helping people out with informed purchases about video games or helping people out with opinions on video games, things that happen within the video game industry. So I figured, OK, well, if this video helps out one person outside of the video game realm, then I've done my job. You know, I've, I've accomplished what I want to do, but I have done something that I honestly thought I, I would never do. And the, the way it happened was very just sort of random, but I feel like it's a good enough story to where it could help inspire someone who's maybe struggling with this thing and, you know, dealing with, with this particular thing. But I have not had a cigarette in at the time of the filming of this video it's been over 72 hours the time you're seeing this it'll be um like four days i i don't know i'm i don't anticipate myself backsliding into a cigarette but i've not had a cigarette in 72 hours and i am someone who has smoked regularly for 21 years i had my first cigarette when i was like 12 or 13 i remember there was this kid who had this real redneck dad in the apartment complex that we lived in we used to watch skinamax at his house too and because he had he had cinemax on there and like he was like dude you want a cigarette and i was like okay and like he opened up a closet and like his dad just had like cartons of winston's like total total redneck dude but we had some cigarettes I got caught because I came home smelling like cigarettes. My dad took me to the gas station and bought me a pack of Marlboro Reds. You know, the old, you're going to sit here and smoke these cigarettes. And I was like, okay. And like, I wasn't coughing or anything. And I had like a cigarette and a half and he was like, get in the car. And I was like, what? I thought I was smoking this whole pack. I've always been a smart ass, but I would say I really started smoking when I was 16 years old because I owed my parents a lot of money. Um, we had had a party, a small, a small gathering at my house. I've told this story before on the live channel, but we did a lot of destruction to the house, um, unfortunately. So I had to get a job because I owed my parents some money. And I started working at Sonic Drive-In, which I had a bunch of friends that worked up there and stuff like that. And as I'm working up there, I was the fountain boy, which meant I made the ice creams and the drinks and stuff like that. I'm sitting up there at work and like, I'm noticing all these people get breaks. And I'm like, well, where the hell is my break? You know, why, why am I not getting a break? I only got one break, you know, a, a, Amanda, Amanda was one of the, the car hops there. Otherwise, like, why is Amanda getting all these breaks? And uh, so I asked the manager, I was like, yo, what's up with this, man? Like, why, why are they getting breaks? And they're like, Oh, they're getting smoke breaks. I was like, smoke breaks? How is that fair? Do I not get a smoke break? And he was like, well, no, you don't smoke. I was like, oh, no, I do. And he was like, no, no, you don't. And I was like, no, I do. I was like, I'll be coming to work tomorrow with a pack of cigarettes and I demand my smoke breaks. And sure enough, sure enough, I came to work the next day. I got me a pack of cigarettes and I started smoking. And that's literally why I started smoking cigarettes regularly, because I wanted breaks at work at Sonic because that was the only way to get them at the one that I worked at so I have been smoking since I was 16 years old I'm 37 years old and when I do something I, I usually I'm a very I would say I have an addictive personality you know I, I get on something within my mind I get on something that I want to do and then I just stick with it and like it, it's it's my main focus and for quite a while like cigarettes were like a main focus to me my parents ended up finding out because there was an incident um but you know the the way it worked out was they were kind of worried about me because something else had happened if you watch my depression video you'll know the instance that i'm talking about um but I was just smoking kind of regularly. There were gas stations where they would sell us cigarettes, even though we we're underage. Yeah, Dude Man, who I ended up getting arrested buying booze from Dude Man, but whatever. Um, but yeah, so then I got an apartment when I was like 19 
and like that was it dude like we were, we were smoking like a pack and a half two packs a day I remember my, my buddy Rob's mom used to get so mad because he would come over and he started smoking cigarettes and she would be like, I don't want you going over there. And he'd be like, why? And he'd be like, because you're chiefing freely over there. You're just smoking inside his apartment. We called it chiefing, you know. I mean, really, really chiefing meant meant the other stuff, you know, the more green stuff, not, not the brown tobacco, but, you know, it was all just sort of encompassed. But I've been someone that smoked for a very long time. And I honestly thought that I was never going to quit. And the way that it ended up happening was actually very, very random. So I started dating this girl last year um, at like the beginning portion of the year. And she hit me up one time after she left the house and she was like, I smell like smoke. I smell like cigarettes. And I was like, well, I mean, you lay in a cow field. You're probably gonna end up coming out like cow shit. Like, what, what do you want me to do here? Like, you you know the you know the status of this. Um, and she was just like, I want you to try to quit. And I was like, No, I'm I'm not doing anything for a woman. That's a terrible thing to say. But no, I'm you know if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it for myself. But I took those words and I was like, Well, maybe I'll get a vape just for when I'm around you, so that way you know everyone's happy. I ended up buying myself a car um last march and i used to smoke in my cars all the time um just you know whatever even the cars that you know i would put in a car show and stuff like that i would just smoke in my car but i was like you know what i want this car to smell good forever let me just get a vape and then i'll use the vape in the car and then i'll just smoke when i'm at home and so i did that i ended up splitting up with that girl regardless but i stuck with the vape thing in the car because i was like well i don't want the car to stink you know, I, I, it's a nice car. I, I want to keep it, you know, good in good condition. And then just as time went on, I started kind of smoking less and less cigarettes. Um, obviously, I live in the Northeast now. When I lived in North Carolina, there were like three dollars a pack, like ten dollars a pack in the Northeast. So, you know, that kind of played a role into it, though. But I was just kind of like, you know, I don't really need to smoke that much anymore. And I would say a week before about two weeks, really two, three weeks before the current time frame i had started just smoking in the morning like when i'd wake up i'd have a morning cigarette or two and you know maybe have another one throughout the day and that would be it i was down to smoking a couple cigarettes a day well earlier this week um i had noticed that it had been a very long time since i had one and i was like well let me try to just go a day let me see if i can do a day obviously i'm still you know using these little vape things but it's a hell of a lot better than cigarettes and I made it a day and I was like, well, let me try to make it 36 hours. Let me try to make it 48 hours. And then I just kept hitting all these check marks and milestones, I guess. And like, I, I don't know, like I still have a, a pack and a half that's open of cigarettes, but it's just like, I haven't really wanted one all that much. And after, you know, 21 years of smoking cigarettes every single day, usually a pack plus. I'm getting to the point where it's like, I, I don't feel like I need them anymore. You know, maybe at some point it was a crutch. Maybe it was something that would calm me down, so to say, um, when I get stressed out, you know, have some cigarettes. Now, granted, I have been yelling at some of the friends, you know, John Spawnwave and uh, MVG and Nate when we play Call of Duty. I have been yelling at them a lot more um and getting very angry at them but i feel like that's just something that's going to take time so what the hell was the point of this video i think this point of this video was that if i can quit something that i was highly addicted to for 21 plus years i feel like any of you can conquer whatever demons you're battling because nicotine is one of the most addictive things in the world and you know tobacco and cigarettes and yes i'm not completely clear of nicotine i am still vaping but this is a hell of a lot better than something like smoking a cigarette is for you even though you see the the truth dot com is that's nickel in your lungs like okay that's better than the, all the tobacco you're putting in your lungs dude like calm down leave me alone i'm trying here but i feel like i've accomplished something and the way i accomplished it was just completely out of the blue so you never know what's going to happen in your life that will allow you to achieve your goals to to do something maybe better for yourself and i think i'm living proof of that because everything that's happened in my life whether good or bad 
a lot of it there was really no lead up to just something sort of happened and then it was like i need to make a decision and then a decision was made so my decision has been to stop smoking cigarettes and i think i'm doing a pretty damn good job of it so if, if you're struggling with something you know stick it out man stick it out there's gonna be times where you're like you're gonna want to give in to your cravings you're gonna get, want to give in to your your addictions just don't do it you know just just try just try your hardest because i feel like at the end of the day that's all that really matters is willpower if you put your mind to something i feel like anyone can accomplish damn near anything so yes i will be becoming a motivational speaker once i quit talking about video games like if i get too old for it and like the kids phase me out or something i'll be doing motivational speaking obviously this video was just no editing whatsoever i just wanted to talk i'm glad you made it to the end of the video if you're new here hit the subscribe button please trying to hit 500 000 subscribers by the end of the year and as always i'll catch you guys on the next video stick it out stick with it you got willpower you are in control of your life you are in control of your own destiny things will happen around you but at the end of the day you can only worry about the things that you can control and if you can't control it control that shit. later